Your new medium duty truck has one key for both the cab doors and the ignition. Frame mounted toolbox locks and locking fuel tank caps each have separate individual keys. If equipped with key fobs, remote keyless entry is a convenient way to unlock the cab doors. To unlock the cab doors, press the unlock button once. Quickly press the unlock button a second time within 5 seconds to unlock the passenger door. To lock, press the lock button once. Your Peterbilt new medium duty truck has up to 6 different controls and switches. On the left side of the seat, there's an adjustable armrest, the seat recline adjust lever, a seat heating switch, lower lumbar support switch, and the air operated seat height adjust switch. On the front of the seat is the seat fore aft adjuster. The exterior lighting self test allows the operator to examine all exterior lights as part of a pre trip inspection. A full test can only be activated with the ignition switch in the on position. Otherwise, a limited test is performed. To start the test, follow these steps. First, make sure that the parking brake is engaged. Then, turn the exterior light switch to the test position and release the switch. Or, you can press the test button on the key fob. When the full test is activated, all exterior lights will turn on then off again. The test can be canceled by turning the vehicle to the off position or by activating the switch again. All new medium duty steering wheels are equipped with the standard tilt and telescope ability, which are adjusted using the lever on the left side. Controls for the turn signals, high beams, and wipers are located on the lever to the left. On the right side of the steering wheel is the 8-speed Packard TX8 transmission gear shift lever. This can be used to cycle through transmission, manual, and automatic modes. Manual and automatic mode are engaged through the button marked M A and controlled by pushing the lever forwards or backwards. Pushing and holding the lever forward will engage the low gear range. The ignition key switch has four positions that can be cycled through. Accessories, off, on, and start. In the off position, only certain essential accessories are available on the truck, such as lights and auxiliary power. In the accessories position, you can use all other accessories that are unavailable in the off position. In the on position, all circuits are energized. Panel warning lights will light, and the buzzer will sound until all main systems are ready. In this position, the ignition key cannot be removed. To start the engine, make sure the parking brake is set, the transmission is set to neutral, or disengage the clutch if fitted with the manual transmission. Turn the ignition key to the start position until the engine has started. If anti-theft is enabled, you will need to enter a passcode. Functions located on the dashboard include, but are not limited, to the compact trailer valve, electrical switches, air control switches, and ram mount. On the new medium duty trucks, there are two customization options when it comes to display controls. If equipped, the menu control switch is located on the dashboard and can be used to interact with the display and set trips. If equipped with the multifunction steering wheel, the controls on the left switch pod include the variable road speed limiter, cruise control switches, and toggle wheel. These controls on the right are used to interact with the menu and control the radio stereo. Located just behind the steering wheel is the 7 inch interactive display. The scroll wheel is used to browse through different menu options on the display. The back or cancel button can be used to suppress pop-ups or exit out of a menu. The parking brake must be set to access the display menu. These basic features help you become familiar with your new Peterbilt. Your Peterbilt new medium duty truck will require basic maintenance to ensure uptime and longevity of the vehicle. These simple tasks can be done without the help of a licensed professional.
The hood is secured by two external latches. To open, pull the latch up and towards the hood. Lift the latching mechanism out of its housing. Then you can carefully tilt the hood forward. The anti-blowdown lock cylinders make certain the hood stays up while accessing the engine. Checking engine oil is vital to the performance and lifespan of your vehicle. Take the dipstick out and wipe it with a clean rag. Then reinsert the dipstick and check that the oil level is between the low and the high marks. Inspect the vehicle's coolant surge tank for proper coolant level. Add coolant if the level in the tank is below the line marked MIN. Examine the power steering fluid reservoir to confirm it is above the minimum indicator level. Check all belts for any wear or corrosion. Check for signs of wear on your windshield wipers periodically and check the washer fluid reservoir daily. Other frequent checks that should be made are checking the condition of the battery cables, hood latch, brake lines and hoses, and steering components. Check for chafing, rubbing, or corrosion and make sure all clamps and straps needed to hold this equipment in place are present and in working order. To close the hood, carefully lower back into place and reconnect the latches. Check all steps and grab handles for debris and stability. To check the battery, remove the battery cover for access. Check for any corrosion or damages to the batteries and alternator cables. Check the air system tanks for moisture. To eject moisture from the air system tanks, either twist the valve or pull the line that's connected to the moisture ejection valve until the air comes out free of water. Check frame mounted fuel and def tanks for leaks and damage. Make sure that none of the exterior lights have any cracks or blockages. Check wheel mounts and retighten if necessary. Check suspension components for loose or missing fasteners. Check for damage to springs or other suspension parts such as cracks, gouges, distortions, bulges, or chafing. Check all service and parking brakes and make sure they're in working order. Check all brake lines for damage and corrosion. Check all trailer connections and make sure the lines are secure and are stored properly. Be sure to keep your vehicle clean to protect the driver's view while driving and so they are able to visibly detect any leaks or obstructions on the vehicle. Keep the cab clean and free of loose items. Check all components inside the cab for damage and correct functionality. Check the seatbelt for any wear or rips. Check and adjust mirrors if necessary. And make sure the horn is in working order. To check all lights, turn the ignition key to the on position. Perform an exterior lighting self-test to check the operation of exterior lights. The tire pressure monitoring system will also activate highlighting each tire, displaying the pressures on a color-coded display. Just by carrying out these simple tasks, your new medium duty will perform to last. The seven inch Peterbilt new medium duty digital display has all the essentials to complete your tasks at hand when behind the wheel. The display will have everything the driver needs from time and cruise control to systems checks and active warnings. The speedometer, oil pressure, coolant temperature, and tachometer are all displayed on four permanent gauges to the left and right of the display. The digital display will stay visible during all driving situations and in some parked situations. When the parking brake is set, the following actions will wake the display, making it visible. Opening the cab doors, tapping the brake, turning the ignition switch to on, accessories or start, using a steering wheel button, or activating any exterior lamps. When the ignition switch is turned to on, multiple warning icons will be displayed in a sequence to test each warning light indicator. There are several standard features that are included on your Peterbilt digital display. These include time, 
outside air temp, engine hours, PTO or power takeoff hours, trip, subtrip, and the odometer. The systems check evaluates each monitored system and shows the progress of that check on the display. This will appear when the exterior lighting self-test, ELST, is activated or when viewing the notification submenu. The systems check will check 14 of the truck systems, including ABS, anti-lock braking system, brakes, axles, and air filter. Once the systems check is completed, the results will display in a summary. If equipped, the TPMS displays individual tire pressures and tire locations. This feature can be viewed only while the parking brake is set and will be started with the systems check. Colors used to indicate tire pressure are gray, normal, amber, low pressure, red, very low or high pressure, and white, high. A tire high temperature condition will also generate a pop-up. The menu can only be accessed when the parking brake is set. Scroll to choose the menu view and then press select to access the menu. The menu has submenus for notifications, custom view, settings, trip summary, and truck info. Trip summary displays information concerning truck use between trips and the optional subtrips. Use the scroll wheel or menu control switch to access your trips. Your truck may communicate with you with a variety of pop-up notifications. Red pop-ups, accompanied by audible alarms, indicate critical issues which should be addressed immediately by a trained service professional. Amber pop-ups show a non-critical issue and should be addressed at your earliest convenience. White pop-ups are purely informational. These guidelines are enough to get you started with the 7-inch display for your Peterbilt new medium duty. Be sure to check out the advanced digital display video for further details. The 7 inch digital display has all the essentials to complete your tasks at hand when behind the wheel. Accessing the settings section allows the operator to customize the display. Selections are made by scrolling to the desired setting and pressing select to change the setting. Press back cancel to return to the previous menu. A few settings that are available for customization include date and time, units and language, and other features depending on truck configuration. When a view is shown, its position in the view sequence is shown on the right. Use the select button to access the different options. When the parking brake is released, the display will show useful driving information, minimizing the currently selected view and removing its label. A gauge view presents the standard and optional virtual gauges monitoring your truck systems. Two single or two compound gauges can be shown per view. Each view is ranked by importance, primary, secondary, and additional gauges. Vehicles with the custom gauge option provide a view which can contain up to four operator selected gauges. If the custom view has not been configured, the operator can use the custom view setup. Scroll and select the desired gauges then press Save Configuration. If equipped, the Adaptive Cruise View contains optional features designed to improve the driving experience. In this view, details about both Adaptive Cruise Control and Lane Departure Warning are shown. This truck may be equipped with a power takeoff. PTO operation is enabled by using the dash-mounted PTO switch in conjunction with Cruise Control. These advanced menu options provide customization while maximizing the operator experience.